A very warm welcome to Tech Mining. In this tutorial, first, we will create a dynamic action named Calculate Commission. This fires whenever either the job or salary page items change. Upon change, it does two things. Firstly an Ajax call is fired that retrieves the calculated commission, based on the current values for job and salary, from calling a PL SQL function. The commission page item is then set to the calculated commission. It is based on one native action, set value with a set type of PL SQL function body. Secondly, we will create one dynamic action called get department information. This fires whenever the department page item changes and invokes an Ajax call that retrieves the location and number of employees information for the selected department from the database. It uses one native action, set value with a set type of SQL statement. And one dynamic action called update salary which is associated with the button on the page. This makes use of the execute PL SQL code event type to update the employee salaries and then uses the refresh event type to show the updated values in the report. Let's get started. First, create a new interactive report page. Set the following attributes. Do not include form page. Select EMP table. And create the page. We will create a button under this breadcrumb region. Create a new button under the breadcrumb region. Set the following properties. The hot button template apply a color when rendering this button. Selecting this action property the page does not submits or redirect to another page, unless the button's behavior is defined by a dynamic action. Under the Dynamic Actions tab, create a dynamic action. Specify the on-click event, that causes the dynamic action to fire and also select on which element and select the button we created. Under the show node, set action to execute server-side code, and copy the code provided in video description. After running this SQL statement, all rows in the EMP table will have their salaries increased by 10%. Create a true action. Set action to refresh, which triggers a refresh to the specified element. And select the interactive report region on the page. Create another true action. This action displays an alert message, with a single OK button. and enter the message to be displayed in the alert dialog. Save and run the page. This is the interactive report. Take a note of salaries in the salary column. And click the button update salaries by 10%. Salaries updated. Click the button again. Now, you have to create a new interactive report page and also include the form page. 
these are the two interactive report and form pages. Open form page in the page designer. And create the following page items. This first item is of display only type, and will display the location of departments from the department table in object browser. This second item is also of the type display only, and will display the number of employees in the department which will be selected. Under the Dynamic Actions tab, create a dynamic action on change event. Set type to item. And select the department number item we created. Under the show node, set action to set value, which sets the value of the affected elements. And select SQL statement, it set one or more values based on the result of a SQL query. Copy the SQL statement from the source code. The code retrieves information about the number of employees in the selected department by joining the department and EMP tables, and then grouping the results by department location. The result set will contain a row for each unique location in the specified department along with the count of employees in each location. Provide your page item number. and select the department page item to submit when executing this action. Select location and number of employees items, you can enter one or more page items to be affected by this action. Now save your work. Run the application. Edit any employee. The current data is of the sales department. Select other departments, to see their data. Now, for last dynamic action, go to shared components. Click the option list of values and create a list of value from scratch. In the name field, provide your form page number. And set type to dynamic. And copy the LOV code from the source code provided in video description. When you run this SQL statement, it will retrieve distinct values from the job column of the EMP table and present them in ascending order based on the job values, since no specific sorting direction like ascending or descending is provided, the aliases D, and R, are used to represent the same job values in the result set for better readability. Now, open form page in the page designer. Select the job page item. Change its type from text field to select list. Set the type under list of values to shared components. And select the LOV we created. Select the source type database column, the column value entered in database column that is retrieved from a built-in fetch row process. And enter the case-sensitive database column name used as the source for this item value.
Click the Dynamic Actions tab. Create a new dynamic action on Change Event. Set Type to Item, this action affects the one or more page items you enter, and select the Job and Salary page items. Under the Show node, set Action to Set Value, which sets the value of the affected elements. And type to PL SQL function body, it sets a single value based on the result of a PL SQL function body. And copy the code from the file calculate commission. This PL SQL code takes job item as an input and assigns a commission multiplier based on that job title. It then calculates the commission by multiplying the salary item by the determined multiplier and returns the commission as its result. Replace these X symbols by providing your form page number. and select the salary and job page items to submit when executing this action. Select commission page item. Run the application. On the interactive report page, edit any employee. Take a note of the commission on the selected job. Select other jobs and view the reflection in the commission field. Replace the existing salary of the employee by typing any other. Here also an immediate change will be reflected in the commission field. That's it for now. Hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned to Tech Mining for more new videos like this one. Thank you for watching.